A group in the New River Valley says Amtrak could be coming to the area in the next three years. And tonight they met at Radford University to explain how that could happen. WSLS 10's Rob Manch was there and has the details for us tonight. It was easy to tell from the dozens who came out Wednesday, people in the New River Valley want train service. Well, I think everybody's excited about it because it's another option aside from driving up and down I-81. That option is what one group, New River Valley Passenger Rail 2020, and its co-chair, Raymond Smoot, have been working on bringing to the area for the past three years. This rail we want here is the Northeast card, so you can get on the train here and go as far as Boston, staying on the same train. And Smoot says the group already has a train station location selected. This existing set of train tracks runs right by the Christiansburg Aquatic Center, which is where advocates say would be the best spot for a brand new Amtrak station here in the New River Valley. After seeing the successful construction of a new stop in Roanoke begin this year, legislators are interested in more. The numbers of riders in Roanoke will be instructive, but also the number of folks who are willing to take the bus to the Roanoke station from the New River Valley will also give people an idea how many people would actually ride. The state has also put up $350,000 to study how passenger trains would be coordinated with freight. State Senator John Edwards says that will be money spent toward a worthy goal. But I'm confident there are 100,000 people living in Montgomery County probably by now, and then Radford and the surrounding areas. So I'm confident that there'll be plenty of, of demand for, to have Amtrak from the New River Valley. The state study can't begin until 2018, so Edwards says a 2020 start may be a little ambitious, but many like Smoot are still optimistic. I believe that with the arrival of passenger service in Roanoke next month and the broad support that we have for passenger rail service in New River Valley, that it is realistic. We're going to try to make that happen. In Radford, Rob Manch, WSLS 10.